Let's begin with your interpretation uh, of character that you that you must do uh, in acting in, in your choices. And when I was watching uh, your performance of Bernie Madoff again recently, that exquisite scene uh, where he's questioned about what he's doing and he starts with the double talk and, and uh, Ken Langone says to him, you know, that, that's not what you're saying. And they, they, that, that's the kind of moment that I think everyone wants to see someday with Donald Trump in the White House briefing uh, where they say to him, that's exactly what you're saying. But we're never going to have that moment, are we? Because Donald Trump controls that microphone in a way that ultimately Bernie Madoff couldn't. Yeah, and they didn't allow much access, the way I understand it, uh, to, to Madoff uh, with Trump when he's in jail, and that, that I certainly am looking forward to. Um, when he's in jail, if they give him a, a, a platform there, he'll never keep his mouth shut. Uh, Madoff, uh, for some reason, they stopped. They, they didn't. I know that uh, people who interviewed him had very limited access um to him but with trump it's uh, it, it will be he's uh, another form of um being and it's um and i i was watching biden say that he will be difficult to get out of the white house literally physically i think he'll if it's a if it's a marginal win for biden that we certainly hope and pray it is, um, it would be, um, uh, they would have, you, you know, you, you, I, someone was saying it maybe on MSNBC about um, Millie, what he said, which was very, which was really terrific. Because when I saw him walk through there, he was looking around with his eyes. I thought I was watching a Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live skit, him walking through, looking around, knowing what a ridiculous situation he's in. And he and he was part of it. And he apologized as he should have. It was very courageous and noble of him to do that. He had no choice. He had to. He has so much respect for doing that. Um, but with, uh, with that was, what was the question with the Madoff? Yeah, with, uh, when you look at Madoff and you look at, at Trump, they both seem to have that sociopathic quality of, of zero empathy, just no ability to comprehend someone else's position and what it feels like to be someone else, what they might be suffering. Yeah, I, that's what I realized, you know, when Trump, uh, right after he was elected, they, I was on Jimmy Kimmel and I said, you know, give him a chance. Maybe I'm wrong. This and that always gives somebody the benefit of the doubt. But that was not the case. He's been worse than any of us could have imagined. 